Hey, what's up guys? Tom Dog here and I'm trying to pick up where I left that left off last episode, so that was why I paused it for a second, but this is where we left off off last episode and where I failed last episode, so I'm going to be continuing my limbo series right here. So sit back, relax and enjoy this peaceful ass game that gets you away from Call of Duty bullshit for a little while, but Call of Duty is fun although there is some bullshit in it and I can't deny that. But um as you can see the puzzles are starting to get a little harder and uh it's a fun game, fun ass game. So if you haven't bought it yet and you've been thinking about buying it, definitely buy Limbo. And uh, yeah, it's a fun game. So uh, I'm playing as I speak right now, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So basically, I don't want to drown in that water right here. And like as I said before, I know a little bit about what I'm doing right now because I played the level here beforehand, so I don't spaz out and make this like a 20 minute video and not get like much of the puzzle done because I as if you guys know I want to pretty much finish this let's play uh obviously before Black Ops 2 comes out so I don't, I don't want to be doing it for like a year so I want to practice it beforehand because if I was like if I sucked and then I still wanted to make the episode short like not like 20 minutes obviously I, if I wanted to make it short I wouldn't get anywhere and I'd just be failing 24 7 but um Definitely a fun game with this little ass kid running around doing stupid shit. Pulling levers, making water go. I think, I'm pretty sure you guys like this series, so that's why I keep doing it. And like I said, it's an Xbox, it's on the Xbox um, games list. If you just go to games on the dashboard, and you're, you, it's not that much money, it's like, uh... I think it's 1200 Microsoft points, so not that much money. But, um, I want to tell you guys actually a little story real quick while I'm playing this game right now. So just watch the game, and I'm going to tell you guys a story real quick. Uh, and I want to know what you guys think about it. So, basically, one of my friends, um, this is what one, of, what one of my friends did, and I was like in the lobby and stuff, and I knew what was going on. So, um, this kid on MW3. He was like a low level, he was like, uh, I think it was like a level 43 or something like that, non-prestige, and he, he, he wanted to get into a 10th prestige lobby and, you know, get hacked up to 10th prestige, I mean, not 10th prestige lobby, a 20th prestige lobby and get hacked up to 20th prestige. So we were like, um, why do you want to do this? Because he was under the impression that my friend was a hacker and that he boosted um, himself up to 20th prestige, and, um, I was like, yeah, man, he could do it, I've seen him do it before, and he would never jip you off or anything like that, but, so, basically, um, this guy was like, all right, I'll send you the 1600 Microsoft points, and if you don't know what that is for PlayStation, guys, that's worth 20 bucks, um, in U.S. money, so, um, so, basically, uh, my friend tricked him into thinking that he was gonna, that he actually had a modded Xbox and was gonna mod him into, up to a 20th prestige. So the guy was like, uh, is there any way I could give you the money after you mod me up to 20th prestige? Cause, you know, somebody chipped me off yesterday. I sent him the $20 and Microsoft points and he didn't ever put me up to 20th prestige. So kind of felt bad for the guy in that way, but, um, yeah, but he was like, so is there any way you can? And I'm like, no, I'm sorry. It's a standard rule. Pretty much everybody does it this way. You give me, you send me over the points card first. I redeem the code to see if it's real. And then I give you the hacks to get you to 20th prestige. And then basically he was asking my friend like, um, well, why would I just um, take the 20th prestige and then not send you the money? I was like, he was like, uh, you know, I'm a working dude. 20 bucks really doesn't mean anything to me. And he's like, I'm going to assure you, I really will send you the 20 bucks. I just really don't want to get ripped off again. And um, so then basically my friend Horville, I mean, not Horville. I'm joking. I wasn't Horville. I'm not, I'm not giving away. Any, I'm not giving anybody away. Okay. I'm, I'm just joking. I wasn't Horville. I'm just joking. But um, I'm sorry about that Horville. But then basically um, he was like, yeah, well, I can't do that. Nobody really does that. So you're never going to get hacked up the 20th prestige if you're gonna want to get the 20th prestige first and then you'd probably back out the lobby and not give me the points so the guy was like all right just let me think about it um are you gonna be on later tonight so 
what ends up happening is he goes back on later that night and we get him into the lobby and everything and we we get him into actually because we have this one mod that one of our friends gave to us it's like it's only in a private match though it's like where um it's like a quick scoping match where you just the, the only classes you can pick are quick scoping sniping classes but the the mod to it is that everything is in thermal like all your not only your scope but your whole surrounding it's like when you scope in that's like everything you see is in thermal so he was like wow this guy i'm at this point he's probably thinking like wow this guy actually is a hacker and he could probably hack me up to 20th prestige so at this point he has no doubt in his mind that we can do it but little does he know like uh we're not hackers whatsoever we have no we don't have a j tagged xbox and we couldn't do this at all so and how does that freaking light i mean i was trying to turn the switch down right there and it the electricity killed me like i'm supposed to turn down the switch and right here in this part of the puzzle is actually a little tricky because you actually have to run and jump and uh, get on this thing before it gets hot again and it goes hot really really quickly so you actually have to start jumping onto it before it actually um, turns off and wow that was a fail again right there I just jumped off and killed myself but then to trick him even more um, we actually invited people from our friends list into the lobby and we got them to actually be like alright man I'm sending you the points now and then I was like and then he was like um, alright one or he was like, alright, so far I have so-and-so's points and so-and-so's points in the message and I'm going to check them right now. And then he checked them and he was like, alright, these are both real active codes. And then, alright, we were like to the bottom, but they weren't actually real active codes. They were just our friends fooling around. But like, they actually, the actual message they sent was like, hi. So it was bullshit. But then, um, we were in the lobby when he was doing this and we were like, alright, we're not going to hack you up until you send us the points. So he was like, all right, I'll send you the points. And we're, all right, we were like, all right, you're the last guy wait, we're waiting on. We're just waiting on you, uh, so-and-so, to give us the points, and then we'll hack you all up. And our friends know what we're doing, what we're pulling here. And um, so basically he sends me the point, or my friend the points, and then my friend redeems them, and they were real. It was the real t at 20 bucks. And, um, and then we muted him when we started talking. We were like... It, dude, it, it's real. Uh, he actually sent us the point. He sent us the points, and then we were like, "What do we do? We're not actually JTAG modders or anything like that." And so, what we ended up doing, we were just talking in the lobby, and what he thought we were doing while it was silent, we were like, "All right, dude, just give us like five minutes. We're activating the codes um, for the JTAG. We're about to mod you really soon. Um, you're gonna be 20th prestige in like five minutes." And he was getting all happy and excited and shit. Um, he really thought we were modders because of the like the modded like quick scope lobby but um we really weren't so what we did was um we deleted him off our friends list first of all we blocked communications with him he was probably fucking really uh, really angry but we blocked communications with him so we couldn't get any messages and i just dropped like a hundred feet to the floor and killed myself epically but it was in stylish fashion so i don't care but he was probably so fucking pissed. Like, second time in a row that week, he got chipped off. So that's 40 bucks that he spent on nothing because he was trying to get into a 20th prestige lobby and it never happened. And I've never even really got the point of that. Like, play for real and earn it yourself if you really want to be 20th prestige. Like, don't cheat at the game. So he kind of, he deserved it in one way, but I felt bad for him in the other way. Like, 40 bucks he wasted that week. But... You know, that's what you get for trying to mod and hack yourself and cheat yourself up 20th prestige instead of earning it. That's what you get. And um, so that's pretty much the end of the story. He sent us the points. Then we blocked communications with him. Um, we we d <laughs> deleted him from our friends list. We ended the game and we muted him so we couldn't hear him saying, like, what are you doing? Why are you ending the game? We had him muted and we just backed out the lobby and we jipped him off 20 bucks. But, well, no, I shouldn't say we, it was my friend, so, like, I was just going along with it. I really didn't care or anything like that, but, um, that's pretty much the end of the story. I, I, I know I'm not the best at telling stories, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And tell me what you think about that. Is it right because he wanted to get modded? So is, like, does it serve him right that he got chipped off? Or what do you guys think? Let me know what you think, and I'll...